So if you've been following this series, you know that we've been struggling with getting the distance between this surface and this surface to be exactly 5.0000 uh, uh, inches. However, um, we might have had a breakthrough. So we've been, you know, going to the machine, and we've been measuring carefully, going to the machine and asking for so many, uh, you know, tenths to come off and it's been not quite right. So I started to suspect that we might have a backlash problem on the machine, and it turns out I'm correct. Let's go over to the grinder. So this is the setup. We just have a block magged in, uh, an indicator. It's all good. So if we approach if we approach this reading up to zero and we stop and we mark it on the DRO as zero, let's just do that again. So if I give a couple of knob turns here and I reapproach this, now I'm going to set, I'm not going to show it to you, but I'm going to set the digital readout to zero. Okay, that's zero. Now I'm gonna continue in that same direction. Okay. And now I'm going to return from that direction and I'm going to, again, set it to zero. Oops, I blew it. <laughs> if this was easy, everybody would be doing it. There's a little less glare. Okay, I'm approaching it from this direction. Now the digital readout says zero. So the indicator says about four tenths. Okay. Zero. Four tenths. So this is what's commonly called backlash. And that means that there's a little play in, in the system. Now, this is four-tenths of play, which isn't, isn't bad. So I've done some experimenting, and I figured out how to fix it. So on the control, uh, you turn on write enable. That's in another page. I'm not going to bother showing you that right now because I don't think it's important. That's why the alarm is showing, because if you're in write enable mode for the parameters of your Fanuc control, it turns on an alarm, and it'll stay on until you turn uh, right enable off. But right here is uh, parameters 1851 and 1852, and you'll notice that in this relatively modern Fanuc control, it is conveniently labeled as backlash and backlash rapid. And what do you know? There's some numbers down here but there's no numbers up here. So I did some experimenting and I figured out what number has to go here. So once you get to this screen and you've enabled parameter rights, you go down and you put yourself in MDI mode. That's important. And now we're gonna enter a number, okay? We're just gonna enter the number, oh, I don't know, 125, okay? Now we got the number 125 in Z backlash, parameter 1851. Now I'm going to go down here, put this back in jog mode, and let's repeat our experiment. Okay. Let's get you into a place where you don't have too much glare. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to back up here. I'm going to approach zero. And when the DRO says zero, I'm going to stop. Okay, the DRO says zero. And we're within a needle's width of zero. Now I'm going to continue in that direction. And now I'm going to come back. And I have to watch the DRO. And now, guess what the DRO says? 
DRO says zero. So you could make the argument that maybe there's a little fine tuning we can do there, but basically we just took out um, four ten thousandths of an inch of backlash in the digital control. So it's compensating. It knows that if you're approaching from this direction, uh, you know, add four, ten, uh, four tenths. And if you're approaching from this direction, don't add four tenths. And that makes the backlash appear to be perfect. Now, the backlash mechanically is not changed. It is just how we're processing the position numbers. This is important to know. Now, it doesn't too much matter in this operation because when we're moving in Z, we're generally setting up to do a grind. We're not actually grinding in, in Z uh, without moving. So this is gonna work perfectly. And this should take care of being able to dial in a dimension when side wheeling. This is, this is my important thing. Okay, so how do, we how do we finish up here? We like the number 125. Um, we're going to go back to, um, let's see. I have to remember that button. And we hit, no, that's not the one. There we go. This is the ops set button. We hit that. We come up to this screen called the setting handy the, or the handy setting screen. And it says right there, parameter right equals one. And of course we have a red light on the panel and we have an alarm blasting down here. So we're just gonna go over and we're gonna say, yeah, we're gonna make that zero. Oops, wrong mode. I have to be in MDI mode. So zero input. Okay, and now parameter right is back to zero. Okay, I still have an alarm mode. I hit my reset button. Red light no longer on the panel, no longer alarm mode. I've got my uh, backlash setting all taken care of. And here's to hoping that now when we side wheel, we get an accurate number. Wish me luck. Doink.